Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's MZ here. I'm doing a tarot tag video today. It's a video response to Spirited Stardust and it's the end of year tarot tag. And the first question is a deck you use the most. And that has to be my Everyday Witch Tarot. Absolutely love this deck. It's beautiful. It's my workhorse deck. I take it everywhere with me. Put it in my bag when I go travelling. It's just a good reader. I'm always going to get good messages out of it. And I just absolutely love it. And yeah, that's the one I use the most in 2023. Must have seen this a lot on my channel because I'm always talking about this one. <laughs> but yeah, it's always give me good readings all the time. And I absolutely love this deck. I love the quirkiness of it. And it's just. I love that there's cats in every card and it's beautiful. So yeah, that's the deck I used the most in 2023. Next question is a deck I didn't use at all in 2023. And that would be the Tower of the Longest Dream. I only got it last month, so I haven't dived into it yet because I've got loads of decks I was using already. But yeah, I definitely want to use this deck more. Did I um, flip through this on my channel already? That's who you love the images in this one, and I can't wait to actually use it. Beautiful. That's who's stunning. I like the artwork. It's on, not my type of art style, but I was just drawn to it for some reason. I just really like the colours. Definitely a deck I want to use next year. Definitely. But yeah, I haven't used this at all. And I'm planning to, it's just that it's a Kind of a new deck and just haven't got around to it yet. It is really nice, really like this one. That's what the backs look like. Just beautiful deck, and I like the guidebook that comes with this as well. So yeah, it's a deck I haven't used at all this year. Oh, well, 2024 is this deck's year. <laughs> the next question is the most recent edition. And that would be a mini Pagan Cats Tarot. My sister bought this for me for Christmas as a gift. I have the normal size, so I was happy to get the little one as well. Just so dinky and cute. Look how cute that is. So schmoon. <laughs> it's right in my hand. Love it. It's one of my favourite cat decks ever. And I love how small it is and definitely one I could travel with. I think I might invest in more minis because they're just so cute and I, I love it. And the artwork still looks really good. Still see everything in detail. It's such a cool deck. I love that hermit card. Yeah, I love the pain cats. And thank you, sister, for getting this for me. <laughs> you love it. I don't have a mini version of it, so and it's not too too small, but it's a bit small enough for like to put in a little handbag or something <laughs> and take out with you whenever you need guidance. <laughs> yeah, it's a little mini Tower of Pain cats. Next question is a deck you rehomed or put in purgatory. Um the deck I have rehomed but I don't have any more is the Star Spinner Tower. I gave it to my sister got like an anime sort of style to it. I put a picture up so you can see what I mean. And it's the artwork didn't speak to me. It was too busy. I couldn't read it. I didn't feel like the images were detailed enough to get anything. And yeah, the anime style just wasn't for me. So yeah, I'll pass that one along. But the ones that I currently have in purgatory, I'm planning on getting rid of. All by the same artist and all creator, I guess. And it's the Light Visions Tower, Prisma Visions Tower, and the Cosmic Cosmo Visions Oracle. And these are oh, definitely going to go because I just can't work with it. I just don't. The artwork just doesn't speak to me. I've kind of bought all of these on like a like FOMO thing, like I saw it on Kickstarter and I was like, oh, everyone's loving this, I have to get it. So, 
Yeah, it's just not my style of artwork. I showed this in a previous video on text I don't use. But yeah, it's just um it's just doesn't speak to me the artwork. It's just I thought I'd like it because it's strange and unusual, but it doesn't I'm afraid. Which sucks because it is a beautiful, well made deck, and I'm sure someone will get better love out of it than I will. Because I've clearly not used it at all. <laughs> Let me show you. This one is basically the same thing but in colour. Also, I have the big book that comes with it as well. All like the little side bits that came with the Kickstarter and everything. It's just really beautiful. I really like it, but it's just I can't read with it. It's just one of them things, I suppose. Sometimes sticks just don't work for you. It happens to be these, and it sucks really because I do like them. This oracle is pretty nice. I do like this one, but again, I love the backs. Just, I don't know, I think maybe it's just the style of art or it is, I don't know, it's just, this one I could potentially use, but I know I won't, so there's no point me holding on to all of them, and I thought I could sell them all together for someone that loves this art, and I've probably just put it on eBay or something, I'm not going to ask for silly prices either, I just want to let someone have a chance to own it. They want it so yeah i'm gonna put these in purgatory because they just didn't work for me which is unfortunate question number five is your favorite pairing of the year and it has to be these two together i use this pairing the most out of any two decks i used i always pair an oracle with a tarot which is how i pair things but these look so cool together I absolutely love the symbolic soul tarot, it's absolutely stunning. It just went so well with the Poesis Oracle. If you go on, this deck has a website that you go on and it will show you like poetry about each card and they just look well amazing together and absolutely love how they look they just pair so good and the messages i got from these absolutely amazing and they just look like they was made for each other the similar color palette very limited like black and white and this one has gold and this one has gray and i just absolutely think they was made for each other it's absolutely stunning <laughs> just couldn't think of a better pairing and i just really enjoy working with both these together and some of the things that I got were amazing. I think like I got a message, the three of pentacles, and in this deck it was work. I was like, that's just, you can't make that up. It was just so in sync with each other. It's like they were speaking to each other. And that's what the backs look like together as well. Like they look really, really good together. I just really enjoyed working with these. And I like how like your intuition can go away with you these cards even though there's poetry for them you can just read the images and you kind of know what it's telling you and it's just just love the imagery like holding on to something heavy you know like let go of it that sort of thing there's the work card i got with the three of pentacles which looked great messages absolutely loved it and it blew me away sometimes. I got um, this card, that was it. I got the Illuminate card with the Hermit card, and he's holding a lantern in this deck with like insects buzzing around it. And this one, the same thing as moths going around like a lantern with someone's head. And it was just, just mind blowing. I was just like, wow, these decks together are just absolutely amazing. So I really work, loved working with these. So if you have these two decks i'd suggest giving them a go together because i really love the messages i got i definitely would recommend these pairings it's just such cool decks and yeah my favorite pairing of 2023
The next question is your favourite mod or bag made or any accessories? I don't mod my decks, I don't edge them, I'm scared I'm going to ruin them. And I can't make bags, but I did purchase this bag this year and I think this bag is absolutely amazing. Look at the artwork on that. And I love the witches because it reminds me of me and my sister because we look quite similar. Both got black hair and that, and just I just loved it. And I just love all the imagery on this. And on the other side, there's another witch with a kitty. And on here you can do it's free card spreads. So it's like so you can do I don't know desire obstacle solution mind body spirit. I just really love that, and this is absolutely amazing. Um tarot bag, I absolutely love it. And what deck did I pair it with? It had to be a walk workhorse deck, didn't it? It's the everyday witch. I had to pair it with this. How could I not? There's witches on here. And this comes in a big box and there's no like little box to put this in. So I thought this was perfect for my everyday witch. So I can do a reading on here. Carry it about with me in my bag. It just looks so cool. I love it. Just such a great tarot bag. So yes, yeah, this is where I keep my everyday witch. Fits perfectly in there and I just roll it up and tie it up and yeah, it's just absolutely stunning. I love this. Next question was, what deck do you want for Christmas? Well, Christmas has been and gone, but the deck I wanted throughout the Christmas season in December was a Christmas themed deck and I didn't have one and I saw this on Etsy it's the Pixies Whisper Tarot Christmas edition and I had to buy it because it was so so cool uh, it came in a box but also getting a cute bag too and I had to get the bag this is what it looks like it's got those different colour backs which is so awesome I just love it because it's like wrapping paper and that and I just love how they're different. Absolutely stunning. And I use this deck every day for a symbol. I'm still using it now. I did a um some YouTube shorts pulling a card every day up to Christmas Day and filmed them. I just thought they were so cool. I just love the Christmas theme on here. Never had a Christmas deck before and I've never been drawn to having one either. But I just needed this for Christmas. <laughs> it just spoke to me. I just love the colours. And I'll bring this out every Christmas, I think, because it's just such a cool addition to my collection. I like the take on the RWS imagery. We've all got like festive outfits on and Christmas hats and scarves. There's holly around, like all the Christmas plants and things. Absolutely love this deck and I love how the pinnacles look like little cookies. <laughs> this is a fabulous deck. I really enjoy working with this this month. This is the only deck I've worked with this month. Absolutely love it. So this is like my ultimate Christmas deck. And one actually arrived on the 1st of December. I wasn't thinking didn't think it would arrive on time for me to do my YouTube shorts, but it arrived the day I was starting it and I was like, oh my god, what great timing. I'm so, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, I just actually love this deck. So cool. So yeah, that's the deck I wanted for Christmas. Next question is a deck I'd gift others and I'll just gift whatever people wanted like if they had a wish list I have a look on there and gift them a present on there that's what I've done with um Julia at Highly Essentive Tarot I just had a look on there see what she was interested in but I have I did gift one deck twice to two different people I had a giveaway on my channel to say thank you for having 250 subscribers and past that now I'm over just over 300 I'm so grateful for everyone that watches thank you and I gifted this one. There's a symbolic soul tarot because I love it and I just wanted to share my love for it. And I didn't feel like there was much love for it on YouTube. I didn't feel like it's that popular and a lot of people didn't really know about it. So I just wanted to share it. It's a mass market deck. It's easy to get hold of and everything. And I just thought it would be a great one to show. 
So I did a giveaway on my channel to show this decor and B won it. Um I gifted it to the jeweler as well, so I knew she really wanted it and I could see it tell in the comments that she was like, Oh we love that and I was like, Was that a hint? Uh, I'll buy it for you. <laughs> Because I love gifting things to others. I just find the joy in it. I love how people get happy and like making someone smile. And I just like my love language, I suppose. I love giving gifts and things. Yeah, I just wanted to sh share this gift with others. The amazing tarot deck that this is. I actually love how strange it is. You don't realise on first glance, but then you actually look at it and you're like, what's going on in that card? <laughs> so, yeah, that's the tarot deck I've gifted the most to people this year. Question number nine is a deck I fell in love with this year and that was the Dang Olsen Dream Tarot. I absolutely love this deck. Fell in love instantly. You've probably seen this on my channel loads of times. I'm always gibbering on about how much I love it <laughs> but I actually do. I love the art. So stunning. It's totally my sort of style. I love how matte it is as well. And I love the backs and thick cardstock and the surrealist art. And I love how creepy it is, but also quirky and comical at the same time. It's just got all the themes in a deck that I love. <laughs> so yeah, I actually love this deck. I love the artist as well. I love his other work that he does. I'd love to get a print from him one day. It's amazing to have. I just absolutely love this deck. It just gives me old 90s vibe, like raving times or like posters and stuff you'd see in London. I absolutely love this card and this card. I love all the cards. They're all so good. I find them really expressive and easy to read. And, yeah, I just fell in love instantly and I just... It came out of nowhere as well. Like I missed the Kickstarter for this deck and I was like, oh no, how could I miss it? But then I started to sell it on their website and I was just so happy that I got hold of it. <laughs> so yeah, this is the deck I fell in love with in 2023. It's just absolutely awesome. I just can't gush enough about it apparently because <laughs> it's just so good. So yeah, I love this deck. Next question is, which card sums up this year as a whole? And I had to think about this, and it was definitely well, would have been a major card, I was thinking, because a lot of big changes have happened this year, things I wasn't anticipating. So the card I went with is the death card, because uh, it's, growth is always means leaving something behind, and I transformed, and it's about ending cycles, transitioning, and I started a new job this year. And I never thought I would because I was in my previous job for 13 years and I didn't think I'd ever leave, but certain circumstances pushed me to move on and find something different. Um, I felt stagnant for years, I guess, looking back now, like nothing was changing in my life, nothing happened, and then all of a sudden I got a new job. Then I started working on myself, I started therapy, got diagnosed with OCD and... Yeah, just lots of things happened in the second half of this year. I even started in this YouTube channel this year as well. Started it in March. So, yeah, I made a lot of big decisions. And I was, I'm in and between this one and the tower. But the tower is more stuff that's out of your control. And I chose to change. So this is why I chose the death card. Because I change to grow as a person and I definitely feel more confident and less anxiety while dealing with professional to help me out with that sort of thing and everything and I just feel much more confident than I did at the beginning of this year so it definitely was a deaf card year for me and yeah it's just needed the change had to change otherwise I would have stayed stagnant and that's what the reversal of this card is isn't it it's just nothing changing and I was fed up with having that sort of life so yeah death card is what 2023 was for me and the last question on this uh, tarot tag is pull a card for the new year and the deck I'm going to use for this is 
Terror of the Longest Dream. I shuffled it a lot off camera to get my energy into it because it's a new deck and I haven't used it yet. So, yeah, let's um, shuffle and see what cards we get for 2024. I'm interested to see what it's going to be. 2024. This one. Queen of Cups. Interesting. So, Queen of Cups will be my year, 2024. I like picking cards like this. Like when you do the calculated way to find out your tarot card of the year, I don't really like that because, like, it you just add one and you get the next card each time. So like if you have the full card, the next card's going to be the magician card. And it just doesn't sit right for me for some reason. I like to actually pull a card for the actual year, have my intention, my energy, and let the deck tell me what I'm going to have energy-wise. So I'm going to have a quick look at the guidebook with this one to see what it says about Queen of Cups because I haven't used this deck before. I'm just really interested to see what it says. Queen of Cups. Okay. The Queen of Cups is an overview of how to love. In this card, we see the Queen ruling from her throne, adorned with the sun. After achieving her goals, she is filled with pure joy and love towards all. The red carpet is an invitation to celebrate with her. She offers up her ornate cup of divine mystery while the land around her flourishes. When you receive the Queen of Cups in a reading, she reminds you to live in pure love and happiness. Don't be afraid to wear your heart on your sleeve as she does. Be a nurturer and let your inner child shine. And the Queen represents a true friend and she may need support at this time. You are imaginative and capable of using your vision to improve situations in a way no one else could. You are the Queen of emotional intelligence and just as you are an open book, the people around you are equally easily read. A natural poet and artist, you are a very creative way of handling most situations and you use this to the benefit of your loved ones, your art inspires and so do you. What beautiful card to enter 2024 in. It's all about love, sharing your love, receiving love from others and like what love you give out, you give back and yeah, what beautiful energy to see 2024 into and Hopefully that will be the case. I am opening up more to others. I'm less guarded than I have been. Like started therapy this year and I feel like it's helped me like open up, be less fearful of things and I do feel more positive and I feel like other people have noticed and things like that. So yeah, it's a beautiful card to have. So yeah, this is um the end of year tarot tag by Spirited Stardust. Hope you enjoyed watching my video and see you in the next one. Bye!